Uh, so far we've uh, studied uh, the different uh, circuits using color uh, charts and diagrams uh, but this is not the case uh, with real life uh, diagrams as you can actually see uh, on our screen and uh, we can actually uh, let's uh, study uh, the actual current path uh, of uh, this power window circuit uh, using an actual uh, wiring diagram and in this particular circuit we see how uh, the actual uh, uh, window uh, control module which is a small computer uh, that is actually in charge of uh, uh, actually running uh, all the functions of the power window uh, is actually the one in charge of actually uh, uh, turning or uh, controlling the actual power window motor and in this we know um, as, uh, because we actually see that the actual uh, power window switch seen at the bottom of the uh, of the actual diagram is actually um, connected straight into the actual module uh, in other words the module actually employs uh, the necessary uh, circuitry or uh, uh, whether a power uh, transistor uh, or a um, some type of uh, uh, mechanical relay within the module itself uh, to actually control the motor most of uh, these systems uh, employed in late model uh, vehicles actually uh, did away with uh, mechanical relays altogether and uh, a, an actual power transistor uh, or chip, a solid state device is actually used uh, to do the actual uh, motor control. Uh, in this particular case, we also see uh, uh, that we do have uh, uh, in between the motor uh, unit and the module uh, is something called a ripple counter. And a ripple counter is nothing more than a, uh, a circuitry or a chip that actually counts the number of... Uh, um uh, current humps that we actually uh, saw before when we did the uh, uh, the actual clamp on uh, amperage test and uh, this uh, what it is it's uh, it's simply a uh, circuit that counts the actual humps created in the actual uh, motor circuit whenever the uh, uh, the uh, motor commutator uh, crosses the actual carbon uh, 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 brushes within the motor itself uh, anytime the commutator actually uh, 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 turns and crosses the actual uh, uh, carbon brushes a, a hump or a slight uh, search is going to be created uh, the actual motor has internal circuitry uh, inside the motor itself um, uh, by using a some kind of a, a microprocessor or a microchip uh, that actually counts uh, these humps this way the computer actually knows the position uh, of the motor uh, at all times rather than using a mechanical uh, potentiometer for example uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, window module is referring to the counts uh, of the uh, current humps uh, uh, to actually control this motor and it's using those humps as a uh, form of feedback again this is a new style uh, of motor control and it is uh, uh, widely available uh, in a, a wide variety of different models uh, and not necessarily uh, uh, high scale uh, uh, vehicles uh, this type of motor control is very precise and it is used in anything from window motor units uh, to actual air conditioning uh, uh, actuator flaps uh, and it is uh, a very precise way to know the actual position of the component uh, at all times. Uh, so in summary, uh, if trying to analyze the actual current flow and the data paths through this circuit, because remember this is also a uh, a, a data uh, type of circuit since we uh, you have a uh, 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 a uh, ripple counter and so on and so forth uh, you actually uh, simply have to understand that this is not a, a straight through um, uh, switch connected to the motor uh, which uh, actually which is called a direct point to point connection this is not a point to point connection this is more of a, a module control uh, uh, window unit and you have to keep that into account that uh, all these uh, components have to uh, work in conjunction with each other uh, uh, in order for, uh, for it to uh, operate, for the system to operate properly. And next, uh, we actually see uh, how the, uh, uh, the different uh, current paths, uh, we w when we actually activate the switch, uh, this sends a signal to the actual window unit motor. And you can see this in red. Uh, this is the actual uh, current path uh, immediately the the uh, window power window unit would actually control the window motor and this we could see and at the same time count the amount of ripple uh, uh, produced by this motor uh, the ripple counter 
uh, accesses that information and passes it on through these three lines uh, interconnected to the actual uh, power window uh, unit. The ripple counter is built uh, inside both the actual motor unit and the actual uh, uh, window uh, module unit. Uh, and this information is passed back and forth and this is how the actual motor is uh, it's controlled. Uh, whenever this uh, type of system, uh, in this type of system, whenever the actual window reaches the top, uh, uh, the actual uh, motor uh, will be shut off because no more ripples are going to be counted. Rather than using a different uh, method, uh, uh, for example, in the older systems, you would use a, a some uh, kind of thermal relay uh, within the actual switch itself, which is a mechanical component. As soon as the module sees that no more ripple is being detected, the motor is not turning, it would immediately shut off the actual motor.